So let's get into your second to last fight. It's coming at you from the featherweight division. We have Ricardo Ramos versus Austin Lingo. Guys, this is a tricky fight. Let's look at Ricardo Ramos first. He's 27 years old. He's 5'9", 72 inch reach. He's 16 and 4. Guys, Ricardo is a mentally weak kickboxer, but he's Brazilian. He's the kind of kickboxer that he looks very sharp. He looks very crisp, very on point until he gets hit in the face. And you can see his face go like, <gasps> and when it does that, he there's a switch there. There's a transition where he, he begins to overthink things, the, this game plan, things that he worked out aren't working and he will break. He can be broken. But there's one thing that we have seen from Ricardo Ramos and in, in looking at the Ricardo Ramos camp, they're, they're looking at this currently. Ricardo Ramos needs to go for takedowns in this fight. He's done it in the past. He's been able to go with a takedown heavy game plan, knowing that he had someone with that disadvantage. He had the ability. He had that advantage to go in there and take him down at will and, and really work submissions, get to the back, really put him in danger. And then we have Austin Lingo here. Austin Lingo's 28 years old. He's 5'10", 72 inch reach. He's 9 and 1. Guys, the guy's nickname is Lights Out. And it's for a reason. He hits very hard. He likes to eat fighters like Ricardo Ramos. And that's what's important. Ricardo Ramos is going to stay out there and be technical at first. If he doesn't shoot for the takedown and gain that confidence and start building that confidence in a fight, Ricardo Ramos is going to lose this fight because Austin Lingo likes to take the will out of people. He likes to look at someone in their eyes and see the light sort of just, just fizzle out. He's the kind of fighter that will move forward, swing bombs, and he's coming off of a little bit of a year layoff, had some things happen, and, and but he's getting better, guys. He looks good. He knows that everyone's going to want to take him down because he's the guy who doesn't care. He's going to go out there and swing huge, swing big. And he, again, he doesn't care if he gets knocked out. I've seen him rock before, but he's one of these guys that like first round all the time. This is first round lingo, pretty much like the guy goes out there and gets the job done. And the UFC has been a little bit different. He's been able to show a little bit of a wrinkle there, but he's also, I think he can be taken down. And I think Ricardo Ramos, if he comes in here with that proper game plan, I think Ricardo Ramos can win this fight. The part that's tricky is Ricardo Ramos, again, can be mentally broken. No one's going to talk about this mental broken side of Ricardo Ramos, but it's there. You hit him hard enough, you will see this oh snap moment, this moment where he just like, like this guy's not going down. He's good. This guy, this guy hits hard. Double take. His face just, just almost melts. It gets like the worry you can see just go over his face of like, oh no, this is not what I thought. And so Austin Lingo's that kind of fighter. He's that kind of fighter that's going to put it on you so much that he's going to take that confidence away. So as of right now, I have to look at Ricardo Ramos. I have to look at Ricardo Ramos maybe by submission because I know that they're coming in here with that game plan. I want to know if they're going to stick to it. I want to know how committed Ricardo Ramos is. Those are sort of the things I need to see in the training room. If Ricardo Ramos is sitting there and he's not shooting at all and he's sitting there just blocking stuff and, and going technical what's going on ricardo like where are the takedowns like i want to see you drilling this all week so that's what's going to be important you guys are going to tune in friday for that write-up but as of right now like i said ricardo ramos sort of like him by submission sort of like him to maybe by decision sort of take this thing down and write it out again the tricky part austin lingo is going to come out here and swing and he can take that away he can take the confidence away from ricardo ramos you're going to see a different animal ricardo ramos at that point goes from being a lion to being a cat and that's just it's just what he goes through. So the possibilities there. So. Now, if you like this breakdown, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment down below who you think is going to win this fight. Because March 11th in the UFC, UFC Vegas 71. It's going to be a great day to win, baby. Let's get it.